everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. All the products that I use, uh, you can purchase from me through Stampin' Up! at the address at the top of the page, and it's linked below. I hope everyone is doing well. And don't forget, if you uh, subscribe to my channel and you're subscribed, you can put one comment on every video I make until I make 3,000 subscribers. I have three different prizes that I am giving away. You can check my last video for what they are. Um, today's product uh, project is a pretty easy one. I think it looks pretty. Um, it's a it's a pouch that has a chocolate bunny, but also we can put. Um, it opens up pretty well like that, and then you just clip it so it, it expands. You can put. M&M's, you could probably fit three packs of M&M's. Um, let's see. I don't know about three of these. Let's see. Yeah, you could put three uh, peppermint patties. Just any any fun size candy will definitely fit. And then one of the Hershey Bunnies will fit in there. And then I just clip the pretty tag onto it. Just like that. Uh, you can make two of these out of one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. Um, I use the flowering tulip stamp set along with the tulip dies. I stamped the tulip this time. Last time I used this set, I used the dies to create a tulip. Um, the actual pouch measures five by three and a half, and it can go up to an inch and a half, I believe, but... It, you don't want to puff it out that much. Um, okay, I used also the tailor-made tags for this. And the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. We don't need too much for this, though. We need a sheet of the Designer Series paper with the pattern. When it's in the landscape, that's when you want your pattern going up. Um, that is 10 and a half by 6 inches. We need some basic white for stamping and a one of the largest tags made out of fresh freezer cardstock. Alrighty, so let's start with our DSP. And we're going to put that on the ten and a half inch side. And we're going to start at one half on the ten and a half inch side again. At one half, we're going to score four. Four and three quarters, five and a half, nine, and nine and three quarters. Then we're going to turn it to the six inch side and we're just going to score at one. Alrighty. Okay, now let's fold and burnish. Um, I do not mind if you use my projects. I want you to use my projects, but if you're going to do your own video and have the same measurements and everything, I would love it if you would just give me a little shout out to the original product. That's all. Now, I love it when people show me what they've made. It's great. It makes me feel very good that I can help other people make things. Okay. It takes me about... Sometimes it takes me an hour or two, and sometimes it just takes me forever to figure out what I'm going to do. So... It's not an easy process to make them. All right, so what I did here is I just folded and burnished, but these pieces that are skinny strips right here and here on when you're in the landscape, I just felt folded the middle one back. It's not a big deal if you don't do that, but it just makes it close easier. You don't have to punch it in. All right, so now this is what we have. And this is what we're going to do. It's pretty easy. We're going to get rid of one. Oops, there's one here too. One, two, three, four rectangles on the bottom here. And then two over here. And then just wedge a little bit. And that's it. All right. So you have a quarter inch strip. Uh, no, a half inch strip on the left hand side and two three quarter inch strips on the right. And then there is a, I don't remember now, one inch strip on the bottom. Alrighty, so what we're going to do 
is we're going to count over. I didn't fold and burnish this. That's why I can't see it. Okay, we're going to count over from one, two, three, four score lines and cut it up to the first score line and then take all of that off. So as I said before, it's one, two, three, four different pieces. Okay. There, you can see it better this way. Alrighty, so four, four rectangles. And then we're just going to wedge up a little in the skinniest rectangle here and go to the top and wedge down. All right. We're going to leave this long rectangle alone. On the other side of the rectangle, go to the first score line and then take these two rectangles off. And this is what your DSP should look like after you've scored it and cut it. Okay, now I'm going to take some DSP and we're going to put it on the skinny rectangle close to the score line. Now you can do this with liquid glue, but you have to slow down a lot and wait for each piece to dry. So I don't want to do that, especially if you're making multiples. All right, so we took the backing off with my take your pick tool. I'm going to flip it to the inside flip over the side that has the tape and then flip the other side over to meet it okay so then you're going to land it with this all right you're just going to squeeze now if you did not if you did the the score lines the regular way all you have to do is just push them in to be on the inside of the patch all right now we're going to take the detail trio punch and I'm going to round both the corners of that back piece. And then I'm going to put some tear and tape on this. Also, what's good about tear and tape when you are doing a, a project with DSP and no cardstock, I don't like to soak down my cardstock with the liquid glue. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this off and then fold it over. And that's your back, okay? So that's basically the whole piece, right? And then I'll just put the bunny in. And then the clips, I forgot to say, these clips are bulldog clips. They are, I got them in a huge pack from Amazon. They are eight, I guess 0.87 inch light gold, which is their own there. I'd say seven eighths of an inch wide at the bottom here. Maybe this way is how they did it. Yeah, they're they're almost an inch tall. Um, but I think it was $14.99 for a hundred. I've had these for a while. But you can find these in Target, Walmart, or if you have any clips. I'm kind of sad we don't have clips right now. But maybe in the new catalog. Okay. All right, so now that's done, let's leave that to the side and we're gonna do some stamping. So we need our basic white our stamp and pierce mat because it is poly photopolymer okay and we're going to be making this tool up here whoops sorry so how this works is this is the bud and these these two go together here this i think is like some grass some extra grass you can put at the stem these two go together here and these three go together now, there's different ways to do it. Most people say the ones that have the most um, area to stamp are the ones you should do for the light color. I don't know if that's how this is because they're pretty even the amount of dark they have. But I'm going to do the dark color in the bigger one and the lighter color in the small one. Okay, and you can always add any of these sentiments on just to strip and add it on. But this is Easter and there really wasn't any Easter uh, sentiment. So I didn't put one on here. All right, <laughs> but 
first we're going to start with the Highland Heather, which is the darker Highland Heather ink. And we're going to do the bigger piece. Stamp that down. Okay. Then I'm going to take fresh freesia ink and I'm going to do the smaller piece. And I'm going to line up the top of the stamp with these two pieces right here. Okay. I'm just going to stamp the fresh freesia right over it. And there you go. All right. Now we're done with the flower part. Now we need the leaves and stem, and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen for this. Okay, so the two leaves are self-explanatory. They don't have any layering or anything. I'll just put them right down there. And the stem. Okay. Now I'm, I just going to use the dies that correspond. So this here would be for this, the two leaves and this stem. But I have already cut them out so we don't have to do that again. All right. So these will be for another day. All right. And we have our tag. Now you could also emboss this tag if you want, since there's no stamping on the actual tag. All right, this time I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I'm going to put, let's see. Maybe I'll have this come over a little this way. I'll put my stem like right there, right? And then this, oops, like that, and then this piece about right here. Oh, it's turning out about the same. And this right there. Okay, so this is about where I want it. So I'm just going to take the leaves. And I'm just going to put a light mark where I want the stem to go. And I'm just going to glue it right on that mark. And I did reuse my cardstock because I was practicing. And I can't stand to throw good cardstock away, so I flipped it over and used it for these. All right. And then we want our flower just about right there. And then our leaves. He's going to almost attach to the bottom. And then this one will come in a little bit higher. All right. So let's let that dry a second, and then I'm going to get my clip, and this is, this is Evening Evergreen Window Pane Check Ribbon, and I'm actually going to put it in where the clip is. You could just make a bow and attach it with a glue dot, but I'm actually going to tie it on the inside here. It's, it's loose, it's a little hard, but once you get it tight there, it's not as hard. All right, and then I'm just gonna clip it. All right, and then for this tag, I'm gonna take some of the gold, 
trim from, I'm trying to look for the name of this, Simply Elegant Trim. I'm just going to take, I guess this is about 12 inches. And I'm just going to loop it through my tag. And then I'm just going to tie a bow on the top of the tag. So it looks pretty when they take it off, if they take it off. All right, and then I'm just going to close my bag, clip on the bow, and decide if that's how, I think I'll probably clip the ribbon down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to tuck this whole thing right underneath and have some of the bow showing out. Okay. I might have to fold this down a little bit to get it to stay down. And for the final touch, I'm just going to get some of the 2021 to 2023 in color jewels. And since there is so sa uh, not so saffron, soft succulent in there, I'm going to take those and I'm going to put one over here because it changed. I moved the and in there and then a small one up there and that's it. Pretty quick and easy. It can be as inexpensive. In the contents can be as inexpensive or as expensive as you like, and it only takes half a sheet of DSP. So um, all of the measurements will be on my blog. If you have any questions, my email is below. You can also put the questions in the comments. And don't forget to comment if you're subscribed, if you'd like to be entered into the giveaway. I, you're allowed one comment per video. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.